think I think it's worked. No. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by all our rules. Hello, everybody. Hello. hello. Say hello. hello. Hello, hello, hello. Wow, there's so many different people and comments and stuff coming in. I'm just gonna have a little play around. Uh, okay. Right, here we go. I uh, hope you guys are well. Say hello. Hello. Welcome, you probably guys are wondering where the heck we are. Chloe, actually, I've got to show you my bodge setup. Look at this. I've literally got my tripod right there and uh, I'm holding this hands-free thing. I'm wearing my top again. You are. What does it say, VIP? VIP. VIP. <laughs> so basically you're probably wondering a couple of things. Where are we? Well, if you missed the live stream test we did the other day, we are basically in we our new, new house. house. Yes, we are. And our new house, why are we in this kitchen, Phoebs? Because uh, it's the only kitchen we have. It's our temporary kitchen uh, behind us. You can probably see uh, we are having our kitchen built right now. It's very exciting times, but as we know, this also comes quite strange times for everyone and worrying times in a way. And we're just trying to hopefully bring a little bit of uh, light to your day by doing what we've been doing anyway. We've been homeschooling, haven't we, girls? Yeah. Uh, what we've done this morning, we've made a board game of Chloe. Hi. Phoebe, we've done, yeah, designed it. We did some maths. You've done a robot, Phoebs? Yes. So I figured that. Well, I've got loads of videos in the bag that you're seeing right now as our old house, and the plan was to not really show you this kitchen, but hey, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. That's, but, so basically, if you're wondering where we are, that's where we are. If you're wondering uh, what we're doing, we're hopefully just gonna show you what we would do anything. We're homeschooling, Mrs. Barry's at work, but she'll probably help out some of the live streams later in the week. So every day uh, at one o'clock UK time, we are live streaming some recipes. Uh, nice, simple ones, it's not gonna be too tricky, not too scary, anything crazy like that. Um, You're excited, girls? Yes. You look yes. kind of scared. There's people watching. Hello, people watching. Uh, but I was just figured like, let's just do this because we're here anyway, right? <laughs> this is, I've just noticed your hair. It's gone cuckoo. I have to be honest, when, I, when it comes to your hair, they were just having a little play fight. I'm like, just let them be themselves. Like, just <laughs> get ready for the live stream. Look at your hair, you look like Doc Brown. I'm Doc Brown. Oh, who's this? Andy. Hello, Barry, Mrs. B, Chloe and Phoebe. Great to see you live. Uh, hyped for the week of live streams, all the best. So um, we're just gonna get going. Uh, I know there's some kids that are cooking along with us, which is amazing. Uh, hopefully some of you guys are in the same situation. Uh, as us, where we're homeschooling, um, and it's hard. Massive respect for teachers, right? Ooh, I, I sometimes say, oh, school teaching, that's easy. Like, it's, it's hard, and we don't know how long this is going on for, do we? No. So we're doing our best, and we figured, well, this is kind of educational. There's a bit of maths going on. It's, it's cooking, which was one of my favourite subjects at school. You have to think hard. You do. So hopefully um, there's a list of you guys that have got the same ingredients that we have. We're going to do frying pan pizzas. So a little bit of basics really. Uh, we're making the dough out of something uh, like a two ingredient dough of Greek yogurt. You've already done um, that. I have you? done it before. It's called a two ingredient dough, but it also makes good flatbreads. If you didn't have Greek yogurt, you can use natural yogurt, but it's a little bit tart. That's, is, that, is that the right word? Tart? tart? It's a little bit more tangy, whereas uh, Greek yogurt is more creamy, okay? Uh, who is that? Someone just said hello. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Hello everyone that's watching anyway. So that's basically what we're doing. We've put all the ingredients list there. Um, and I've had a lot of messages saying, can we do this a little bit later? I'm just kind of trying to coincide this when the girls are like not doing their homeschooling. So we're literally just putting the camera up uh, and you guys can watch these back at any time. I know there's a lot of people that message me saying, we're not gonna be awake. Uh, I'm busy doing stuff. Just watch them back. This is in real time. Uh, don't hope, yeah, don't worry. Yeah. So we're not going to do this big intro every single time. Uh, Monday to Friday, we'll be doing this same time every day. And if this works, hello, Seth. Love to you and yours. Be safe out there. Thanks, Seth. If, um, if this does work, we'll, we'll just keep doing it. It's just totally unplanned. It's something I put together on Friday. And... It's just a bit of fun, right? Um, we hope you're all taking care out there. Those of you that are still going to work, people with the NHS, delivery folk, all those people, massive uh, shout out to those people. Go, woo, woo, all right. <laughs> um, but honestly, we, we don't know what's going on. Like it's, it's a mad, crazy time. So uh, this kitchen actually is gonna be your bedroom, isn't it? Yes. But we have got some familiar things, haven't we girls? Do you wanna show people? Should we have a little... Uh, uh, no, I'll show you. Hi, Luke T Taylor. Hi, Tottenham TV. Uh, come back to Bedford. Hey, Katie Fraser. Hello, hello, hello. So we have got the Smeg fridge. This is here. In fact, look, this is a sneak peek. This is, you see that? That's the window. 
that will be, the kitchen will be there soon. It, I know it doesn't look that done, but it's actually a lot further done than we, we thought it could be, right, Phoebes and Chloe? Yeah. yeah? So we're gonna smash this kitchen out and it's gonna be your bedroom. Yeah, yeah give it fat. Uh, all right, we have got the Smeg fridge. We brought it with us. Uh, we've got the Ratmaster 3000. Um, we were left this oven hob gas thing. The hob works, the grill works, the oven does not work, does it? So we've got this baby. So we have got this baby. Are you the lead? Yeah, go on, lead it then. <laughs> we've got this. This is a microwave oven looking thing. It's actually an oven. We tested it yesterday because you, what did you make? Cupcakes. You made some cupcakes, which are here. We've been nibbling on them. Hello, Zara Matuk. Hi, Baron Girls. Love the video. It's been here since day one. Stay safe. I'm a chef myself. I love your videos and you inspire me so much. Thank you so much. So, should we get going then? These pizzas, if you can make them in the oven, which we do not have an oven, uh, get your oven nice and hot, sit the dough on the baking tray and it will cook easy. We're using the hob and then the grill. Uh, this is gonna work, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and just another thing, if you are making the, we're doing a banoffee pie later on in the week, we couldn't get any in the shops. Uh, so if you get some condensed milk and boil this in water for uh, three hours, make sure the water's topped up it will turn to a tin of caramel. But in the supermarket, normally next to it, they have tins of caramel. Right then, shall we do this? Yes. It's live. Never work with kids or animals. We did bring the dogs with us as well, didn't we guys? You don't know where you are, do you? <laughs> right, let's do this. Um, so the first thing you need, ladies and gents, is a frying pan. Hello, Gabby Stevens. Hope you're well, this is going to be fun. Gabby, I don't know if this is gonna be fun. Do we think this is gonna be fun? I'm, I'm scared. Yeah? There is some adult steps, but the really cool thing is with the frying pan, you can keep this nice and cold uh, so the kids can make it safe. We're gonna make the dough first if you've got ready-made dough. If you've got a flatbread, like a naan bread or something like that, it's, it, yeah, that would work too, right? Yeah, just in case um, it's something a bit dangerous. Yeah. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the adult steps, which is obviously back there, the hob and that if we get to that point. But the first thing we need to do is weigh out our flour, okay? So, uh, look at this. The scales, we even brought the scales with us. Well, actually the ovens in our old house, um, they are gonna be about there. We brought them, they're in our garage right now. Uh, <laughs> it's really shocking. It's shocking, isn't it? Yeah, we had to take the ovens with us, didn't we? Yeah. yeah well, yeah, absolutely. But we've got, I mean, the hob and the, the grill work. That's the main thing. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> and we've got that new gadget oven. Right, so what have we got here? 300 grams. Uh, we need 300 grams of self-raising flour. Do, do, do. Oh, oh my gosh. That's okay, that's almost bang on. <laughs> and to be honest, you might need some more, but we're gonna get that into the bowl over there. Wait, Claire, you wanna get that bowl for Phoebe? Right. So we can get the scales out of the way, right over there. Melissa, mm, all the way, all the love from Norway. Hello. Hello, Norway. Hello, Norway. Hello, the country of Norway. There we go. So that's going in there. Look at this. And then we, that's not gonna make itself, so we need to get the yogurt now. So like I say, if you've got natural yogurt instead, you can use that, but it will be a little bit more tangy. My nine month old loves watching you and the girls. We've been watching since he was born and he laughs and smiles so much when a video comes on. Oh, thank you, Hayley. That's cool. Right, so this is some Greek yogurt. You want to do the lid, Phoebes? Oh, oh you do it, Chloe. <laughs> All right. Chloe's got a Fitbit. Do you want to tell them about your Fitbit? So, uh, like, it's like a, another version of a Fitbit. Um, you Half the price. Have, um, like, Fitbit kind of on your phone, the app, your phone. Yeah. And you then near, and Yeah. How many steps have you done, Chloe? 6,000 steps today, but we haven't really been anywhere. Of, um, running around. Running around. <laughs> okay, so this dough does get quite wet easily. So what we're gonna do, instead of like dumping in equal parts yogurt and flour, what we'll do is add a little bit at a time. So people joining in at home, yeah. So add like a tablespoon, do like three tablespoons at first. So like a big heap spoon. That's all right. Nice. I reckon one more after that. Because you want to try and control like how wet and dry this like mix is. All right, cool. Uh, Phoebes, do you want to do the stirring? 
And then Chloe can do the add in the yogurt. All right, so that's still gonna need a little bit more. So Chloe, you wanna add a bit more? Hello from Anna and Fergus from Scotland. Hello. Oh, Scotland. <laughs> Scotland. Scotland. All right, keep stirring. Scotland. There we go. But like you don't wanna, once this mixture gets too wet, you're gonna need a lot more flour. Yeah, a bit more, Chloe? That is a lot. Have you got any messages to other kids at the moment that are off school? Um, stay, stay safe. Stay safe, yeah. Oh, you see how it's coming together now? Right, keep, yeah, keep mixing that well, mate. And we've only done about, what's that, six spoons, would you say, Chloe? Yeah, yeah six. Six. All right. So just a reminder, we'll be doing these every day around this time, Monday to Friday, this week. Um, actually, that all depends if this goes all right, <laughs> if we survive. This is quite fun so far. I'm enjoying it. Should I put another one? No, I think that's nearly there. You might want to get really in with that, Phoebes. I'm trying to help you here. Go on, get really stuck in there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You can see how it's sort of bonding together like that? Yeah. Oh. So let me just try and pick, we've all washed our hands, but like you can sort of see how you're starting to get that, that sort of doughy texture like that. A little bit more. Oh. Hello from another Barry. Hello, Barry Marshall. Hello from Hamburg, Germany. Oh, Germany. Yeah, stay at home worldwide. Just put that hashtag, yeah. Hashtag. <laughs> all right. Let's have a teeny bit more yogurt in there. But you can see, yeah, a little bit more. That's it. Nice. Stir that through. You can see how it's sort of bonding it together, right? But it's so much better. Although this takes a little bit more time, rather than chucking the whole lot in. Don't worry. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're terrible. Come on, you can do this. You're doing well. All right. Oh, there we go. You can see that really coming together. Look at that. In fact, you could actually start kneading that. Oh, look, see that? That's almost about right. Yeah. Right, keep going then, a little bit more stirring. But like the really cool thing is, we can actually make this cold in the pan in a moment. We can press it in. The most important thing is to make sure you get the dough nice and thin. You want to hold this while I wash my hands? Okay. I'm probably going to have to wash them again. Point it at Phoebe. I don't know. <laughs> Not her face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a ball coming out. There's quite a few. Yeah? Yeah. We're all right? This is really good. This is like Chloe Cam. Chloe Cam. Chloe Cam. What could go wrong? Hashtag Chloe Cam. <laughs> right, nice. What are we thinking? I think it's pretty much done. You think it's done? Yeah. Pretty much. Right, well, let's try. Because we can always add more into it. We're going to get it out onto a board. Yeah. Du -du -du. Chopping board. Brought the chopping board with us. Right, let's flour it down a little bit. Do you know what? I think just a little bit more yogurt just in case, guys, all right? Because yeah. we can always dry it out with more flour on here. In the past, when I first made this, it was really, really, really wet. So, you added a bit more in? Yeah, yeah keep adding a teeny bit more. Let it try and come together as one sort of big lump. Uh, a bit more. Yeah. That's it, a bit more. Yeah. We're nearly there. Right, cool. Stir that through. And what we might actually do, we're only probably going to make one pizza on camera because what lessons have we got this afternoon? We've got art. We've got art for Chloe. And Phoebe, you've kind of done all your work. Yeah, I have art as well. Oh, dear? Oh, nice. Phoebe's like, it's all online. She can kind of do it on her own. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot. I've got a tripod here. I can help. Oh, yeah. Look. Forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to turn it round. Here we go. That's there we better. go. That's better. Hello, people. Uh, hello, people. I'll come back this way. No. This is so bored. I'm doing this on my phone, but I kind of like the rusticness of it. Right. Get your flowered board. Are we all right? Yeah. All right, let's get in there. I so <laughs> this felt a pug. Right, let's get it there so people can see. Da -da 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 -da. We'll bring it down, all right? Down there. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's get the dough out onto the board. Can we use our hands or yeah, you're gonna have to get your hands on, mate. But can you see how it's kind of like gummy now, like that? Sure. You kind of want that texture like that, where it's sort of pliable. It's still a little bit wet. But that's good. So down on there, and you can see if you bring it together with one hand. Oh, we're all doing it. <laughs> bring it together as one big lump, Chloe. Oh, one big. One big lump. We're gonna make a big dough ball. All right. Oh. Oh. 
That's exactly what you want, the consistency of dough. <laughs> Do you right. like these cups? Let's bring it all together. All right. And then you can see it's actually quite dry anyway. But I say, use the flour if it's too wet, use the yogurt if it's too dry. Make sense? Actually, do you know what? That's, that's pretty darn good. But what we can do is get any of these scraps for now, put them in the bowl. You just got that right. No, he's making sausages. She's making sausages. We have a sausage maker back here. Hello. Hello. Hi from Australia. How about a veggie prep kit update? Veggie prep kit update. Oh yeah. I'm doing a crowdfunding campaign for that. Um, it ends, ends in about 14 days. Uh, if you have not seen that, head to Kickstarter. The link is in my Twitter description and on recent videos as well. Um, I'm shipping them out worldwide. Gonna sign them as well if you want. Uh, absolutely blown away by the response to that. Thank you so, so much. Right. So what we can do, you've, your finished sausage, is we can kind of... This is too fat right now. You're probably going to get at least two big portions of dough out of this. You want to, you can press it with your hand or you can roll it. And we do want to get it quite thin, okay? Du -du -du. Want to go, Phoebes? Okay. But do remember to dust it. Just keep it, keep it dry. Rub that in, all right? Yeah, look at that technique. Look at her go. Huh? Look at that. You can't move it now. You can't move it. And that's the plan. Turn it over. Keep it flowered, guys. There you go. And then flower the other side. There we go. And that's still quite thick. Nobody wants medium rare pizza base. No. Rub that in, that's it. Nice and thin. Alright. <laughs> Do we drop in flour? Oh my God. There's a pub down there that wants to eat it. No! Oh, we've got we've got flour on the dog. It's all it's all good. He's eating a lot worse. All right, let's keep it away from there so it doesn't fall on it. There we go. All right, so we've probably got enough there. Get it nice and thick. Well done, mate. Look, you're using your the backs of your arms. This is like life hacks. <laughs> Look at that. It massages you your wrists. Yeah. But can you describe to people that make it? Look how smooth that is. That's good. I like that. See, one more big roll like this. Okay, I'm doing this one-handed. Oh. There we go. Put it on the train. There we go. Right, believe it or not, that is actually the dough done. The only thing easier than that is buying that packet mix where you just add water or buying a ready-made base. In fact, if you want to do it with a flatbread or a piece of bread, you could just jump that step. And the kids got leftover play-doh. I found this in here. Yeah, well, that's enough. Do you want to go get a little knife? Okay. Right, we can get all this out of the way. I had to start with the messiest one, didn't I? Yeah. Do you want this? Yeah, and what we'll do... Do you want to do it, Phoebes? You can cut a rough circle, or you could use that as an outline. Oh, yeah. There's your pan. Cut around it. Doesn't need to be too accurate, because you can kind of squish it anyway. There's one and a half thousand people watching, it says. Oh, That's amazing! That's this is just a silly idea that I was like, yeah, let's get live and um, do the cooking lesson online. That's fine. Right? Yeah. We're, we're, in a, we're in a kitchen where the hob doesn't work. We're, not, we're in a temporary kitchen. We didn't want to show you this, but it's fun. And hopefully, if any of you guys are making this recipe, cook along a barry. Hashtag cook along a barry. Uh, share it on social media with me. Uh, tell your friends about it as well, and I'll post some pictures later, hopefully, of us all with these pizzas. Right? I've done it. Is that good? You've done it. You've done it. All right. So, what we're going to do, this is optional, but it helps to get the base a little bit browner is we have got, it's like we're prepared or something. Huh? We have got here just a little bit, uh, try and get that pan out. A little bit of vegetable oil, or you could use spray oil. You wanna do it, Clay? Where do I put it on? Just a little, just brush the bottom of the pan. Okay. Yep. Just, yeah, just a nice light coat. So if you haven't got a pastry brush, just dribble a little bit in and use some kitchen towel to soak most of it up. All right, yeah. Huh? That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Phoebes, do you want to lift your pizza base up and stick it into the pan? Beautiful. And what you can do is press it around the outsides like so. And that is it. That's your pizza done. End of the stream? No. What? What, Chloe? What, Boston? He doesn't care. He's trying to find flour. Hello, Amy. <laughs> Look at you. Hello. 
little crisp pudding. You wanna say hello? No? Brilliant. So, every pizza needs a good base. Yes, we need to put it on top now. We don't. We need to put the toppings on because it's safe for children like you. Is that fair? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes it is. Amazing. Right, okay. So, let's go and get the topping station over here. Ladies and gentlemen, you might recognise the bread bin and the toaster. Uh, first thing we're going to do, tomato puree. I find this, um, sorry? Oh yeah, we'll bring it over. Grab a, grab a top in. Oh, the other thing I was going to say is actually in that dough, you could put herbs in there. You could actually have put that in, salt and pepper, like seasoning, like really herb your base up. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Does it matter? Boston doesn't mind. He's like licking like crumbs in the sunshine. He's probably licking nothing. Right. So what I was going to say, this is tomato puree. I find it quite strong. So if you've got ketchup, if you've actually got pizza sauce, use that. Who wants to squirt it? All right. Do a big squirt in the middle. All right. All right. Bit more. Okay. Now with the back of a spoon, Phoebe, you want to do this step? I want you to do slow rotations and push the puree out to the edges, leave a little gap on the edge for our crust. Mm, crust. I like how you've kind of got this weird jagged edge on yours, it's quite good. Jagged but you can edge. just sort of butt it in yeah. like that, you see? Oh, that's cool. Is that cool? Yeah. Thumbs up from me. Thumbs up, <laughs> all right. Uh, thumbs up from Amy, and um, wherever Boston's gone, I'm sure he's enjoying the crumbs. So mm. spread this on. My actual favorite pizza topping sauce is, uh, is barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce, yeah, instead of like, you know, what? ketchup. Well, don't say that to me. I love it. Barbecue sauce, bit of chicken on there, bit of peppers. I do find tomato puree quite strong, uh, quite intense. It is a concentrate, but hey, look at this. Are you all happy with that? Yes. So you can take it to the edge if you want. It's completely up to you, but it's quite nice to give it still that sort of crust thing. We're trying to make it as authentic as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. You've got to say a phrase that Daddy would say, stonkin. Amazing. Really stonking, man. Right, I don't put the man on the end, okay? All right, it doesn't get that bad. I mean, it gets bad, but it doesn't get that bad. Right, sweet corn. Uh, that's our topping. We're going to go for sweet corn. Um, if you're using any sort of meats, make sure they're cooked. Do not put raw meat on your pizza. Uh, so, yeah, sprinkle that on there. Not too much. Very good, Chloe. Sweet corn, very nice. Yes. No. All right, and then pepperoni. Oh, that's um quite a. <laughs> Do you want to spread the sweet corn out a bit, mate? <laughs> We're sharing this. Yeah. I, I like my pizza randomised. There you go. <laughs> there you go. A bit more. Yeah, Boston likes his pizza like that too, right? Yeah. There you go. Licking his lips. Brilliant. Thank you, mate. Good stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna just do a bit more over here. Phoebe, you want to do some? Oh yeah. Yeah. You use the spoon like you should do. Good girl. Um, nice, nice, nice. Oh, are you doing the, oh, let me test if it's pepperoni, Daddy. <laughs> is it pepperoni? Yeah. Brilliant, thank you. I don't like pepperoni. You don't like pepperoni? Okay. Right, so here we go. Uh, pepperoni, which has been tested by you. It, it is pepperoni, yeah? Everyone knows I love pepperoni. Everyone knows you do, Chloe. Uh, Phoebs? Yeah. Want to stick it down? Yeah. Pepperoni, going on. Is that one piece? Yes. This doesn't matter. They are quite big pieces. You could rip them up if you want. We're just having it like that. Is this our pizza? No cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, herbs as well. Let's get some herbs on there. Not too much. Do not dump that whole pot on there, mate. Oh yeah, it's going to come out very quick. There you go. Pinch it. Yes. Good girl. Look at that. It's like we're in Italy. It's amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, oh, there's the cheese going on. So this is some grated mozzarella. You could use any cheese you like. Any it. cheese you like. I went quite farmery then, didn't I? Any cheese, any cheese you, you like. like. Right, look at this. Amazing. So there's two steps to this. I'll let them do that. I am going to get... Um, oh, how am I going to do this? Oh, uh, I need to get the hob on. Hmm. All right, hold this. Ready? <laughs> get your hob on. Get it on a medium heat so you can get the control right through your crust. I'm going to go bottom left here, and hopefully... Woo! You see that? Oh, We'll keep that going. And the good thing is, you can actually do it in stages. Are oh, you like a cameraman now, Phoebe? Yeah. Hi. Um, <laughs> you bring the pizza over. This is, what, this is the kids' safe zone, 
At this point, it gets to the adult zone, okay? Stick it on. Brilliant. The oil underneath it should help to brown the base. That's what we're doing right now. Oh, it's not All right. good. Yes. All right, cameraman back. There we go. We are browning the base. So make sure you are prepared and have one of these. Or a knife or a fork or something like that, right? So it's just like a spatula. So as it cooks, you can push it down, but you can also lift the base up and have a little look. All right, it's going to take a little while. Do, do, do. But just, just let it cook away. That's basically it right now. How are we feeling, all right? You good? I'm feeling that confident I can walk away from it for a minute. We all all right? You'll do Chloe. All right, should we, um, we've got a live chat coming up. Oh, James, Jamie Harris says, need more cheese. Hello from the US, so happy to see your live stream. Uh, DJ Ka Daniel Coleman, hand clap. Nice looking pizza from Tiger Monkey 96. Uh, wish you did more giant food videos. Me and James are doing super size guys when we next can. Uh, it's busy times for both of us right now, long story, but we're both getting back on that. Hi from Northern Ireland. Uh, good morning from the US. More pugs. There you go. You want some more pugs? There we go. Say hello. This is Pug Cam. Amazing pizza girls. Hi from Israel. Uh, New York says hello. Hi, Barry. I uh, hope you're having a great day making pizza. I am having a great day. Uh, loving the new kitchen. This is... Uh, do you know what? I, I don't mind it. The green is not really the colour that we were going to go for. But it's all right, isn't it? You don't like the tiles? What do you like about the tiles, Glow? You, you mean you don't like that? I think it's quite rustic. It's a bit weird. Great job, girls. Sending love from Germany. Uh, anyone else get hungry when watching Barry? Do you get hungry when watching me? Yes, sometimes. I don't oh my God, the cute. pugs are the cutest from KTB. Yes. Scarlett wants more cheese. Let's get some more cheese. This is the flexibility we have, guys. We Let's have a little look. Cheese, you can never have too much. Yeah, you see, it's still gonna take a while. There you go, Chloe, you got some more on there. Hi from Antwerp, love the green chicken. Ed Hodion just says hi, I guess. Sweden says hi. Uh, Hampshire says hi. Wow, okay, so many comments coming through. Um, yes, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, but there we go, you can start to hear it whistling away. Hi Barry and Co, thank you for doing this from Polar Floyd. Hello. 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 You can start to see the base is starting to crisp up a little bit. But we want to get, I need to come around this way, guys, because of the sun through that window. This sun in England? What? Just see it's starting to get a little bit. Can you see that? A little bit of colour. This is a hack for us to do it this way in the frying pan because the oven's not working. Like I say, if you can, get your oven nice and nice and hot. Shove it on a preheated baking tray or pizza stone and it will cook, like, so fast. But you can see even the self from raising flour of it is making it puff up a little bit. There you go. You see that? Oh, it says orientation is locked. I can't spin too much. There we go. A little bit more. Du -du -du. Du -du -du. And the cool thing is, we get to cook the tops in a minute. <sighs> I'm getting tired. This has been 28 minutes of my life it's so far. Okay. Homeschooling, I'm the teacher. I'm supposed to have like a break now. It's okay, don't worry. Really? Okay, thanks mate. But the really good thing is you've got so much control with this, is once you get that color, I would push it as far as you can. You've got so much control, you can take it off the heat and then we get it in the grill. Which again is an adult step and I'm using this as my teaching stick. All right? <laughs> you don't like it, right? I think tomorrow, what are we making tomorrow? Is it flapjacks tomorrow? I think so. Yeah. We get to use our fancy new oven. This thing is actually pretty cool. Um, we'll come on to that. But we got pizza to make, partner. Howdy, partner. Making pizza. You got any good jokes, girls? Um, what did you... What did you... What? Oh, what's nearly there? That's not yours. What do you call cheese that's not yours? Cheese, that's not yours? Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese, yeah. Well, I think we say that joke every single dinner time. <laughs> um, the other thing you could do, of course, if you have not got a grill right now from the start, um, you could actually cook it both sides, flip it, and then do this the other side with the decoration and then stick the decoration, the topping then stick your lid on top and that will sort of act as a steamer and melt the cheese on top. You can see some of the cheese melting. Yeah, you can, but that's what the grill's gonna do. So I just wanna make sure that we're getting enough color. You really wanna push it as far as you can. Oh, see, it's almost got like a stone bait look. Oh, you see that? You see that, Phoebes? 
You didn't see it? Get in. Come have a look. I trust you. You're old enough. You can have a little look. Okay. Get in there. I can do pancakes. I want to see good posture. Bend those knees. That's it. <laughs> do a squat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it how Amy always finds the sun as well. She's like the sun pug. Yeah? We looking good? It's getting puffy. It is getting puffy. That's the self raising flower doing that. But you could use um, plain flour with, look, see, this is the other thing that you can see that it's getting done. Look, it's like a pancake. Do not flip it. <laughs> Don't flip it. No, but that means it will pop out easy. It's less lost, lost contact. Oh, look at that. It's lost contact with the bottom of the pan so you can walk around. You can be like this. Someone says treat for the dogs. All right, we can just walk around like this. Hiya. Bye kids, just going for a walk with my pizza, right? Bye. Bye. I'm coming with you. Are you coming with me? Uh, but there we go. So once you know your pizza is like that, I am so tempted to flip this right now. Uh, we're not going to do it. We're going to spin it round. And let's just have one last check. Do do do. Ah, oh, it's getting there. That's actually quite charred. That end. Charred, aka almost burnt. So let's get it off the heat. Boom. And now I need you to hold the camera. You want to hold it? Hello, Point yeah. it at Phoebe and give her an interview. So, Phoebe, what's your name? I'm whilst I preheat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm preheating my grill. Um, I don't know what to ask. Oh. So, Phoebe, hmm, stroking my beard. <laughs> You've got a beard, Chloe. It's an imaginary beard. Well, you need to put it at her face when you're talking to her. There you go. <laughs> interview with Chloe. Right, come down here, Chloe. I've just lit the grill. Bend your knees. Have a look. Yeah. Can you see a flame up there? Can you see it? Get right down this up, see if we can get in there. Can get just about to see a, a flame. There it is, the, there you go, there's the flame. So what you need to do, people, uh, the pan now, we've taken it off the heat, so it should still be slightly warm, but put it onto your grill like this, okay? Don't be scared, it's all good. You're not the one that's got home school you later still. Oh no, didn't think it was gonna fit. Yes, it is. There it is, it's going in. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa. So now, you have to be very careful, but that pizza is actually cooking. So, Phoebe, you need to interview Chloe whilst I keep my eye on this. Go over there and take a little interview, and I'll stay in the background being safe. Okay. Hello, Chloe. Hi. How old are you? Eight years old. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Doesn't have to be so serious. <laughs> What's your favourite colour? <laughs> Tell me now. <laughs> Purple. Nice. You What's can look at Daddy's construction stuff. Like I've got a spirit level and a saw. Look at this. This is such a bodge in our house right now, but it is what it is. Yep. What's your favourite um, food? Oh, look at this. Pizza, obviously. Oh, that was a silly question to ask. We're getting there. See how it's popping up already. Oh, yum. Okay, let's go back to the interview. Uh, back to the interview. Um, what's your favourite animal? Dog. Boston. Hello. Hello. Chloe likes you. Hello. Okay. We're getting there, mate. Yes. I'm just keeping you away because it's a step. I don't want you to get in the Okay, that's fine. Let's interview the dogs. Amy's, um... I don't think they can talk. I believe they can talk. Do you believe they can talk? Yes, only in our dreams. I think the dogs... I don't know how dogs talk to each other. I think they talk through their minds and their brains. Ooh. Would that be cool? Really cool. But their mother and son, they might have, like, something. I don't know. That they can... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. See how it's walking? Maybe. I'm taking it away from the shelf because it's getting too close to the flame, all right? Yeah. Hopefully everyone's not got the same problem we have with the grill, but no shame. It is melting, that's what you want. Do, do, do. So I've taken this shelf off and it gives you much more control because you can raise it up. See that cheese melting away now? Oh yeah. That's it. All right? Yeah. That's sweet corn, cheese, herbs. I'm trying to say, because I said to people about their toppings, pick which ones you like. Pineapple, what would be your dream topping on a pizza? Pepperoni. <laughs> Brilliant, thanks mate. No problem. You're just like chilling out now, aren't you? We're not done yet, you get to eat this. What if this isn't cheese, I'm just gonna check. You guys. That's cheese. 
You guys are crazy. Right, dogs. Look, all he wants is a little bit of pepperoni. Oh, and whatever else he's eating. Oh, you can see it starting to puff up. Oh, the cheese is browning. It's bubbling up, that cheese. Yeah. Whoa, that's my dream. Wanna, well, you need more cheese. We do need more cheese. Yeah, yeah, we do. But I'll let you do it. That's fine. We need more cheese. We need more cheese. It's just a big bubble of cheese on it. Apparently, we're only allowed. Look at it. Yes, a bit more. It is heavy. That's because he's all cooked the dough through. Do, 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 do. Right now, interview Phoebe. Oh, yay. Sit down in the interview chair. Okay, okay. Interview chair is over there. Okay. Hi, Phoebe. So, what is your favourite sport? Hockey. Hmm. What's your favourite colour? Blue. AKA turquoise. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your favourite animal? Wolf, owl, fox, bear. Those type of animals. The... Woodland ones. Oh. <laughs> I like woodland based animals. Yeah. Birds. What else? Oh, you're pointing at me. Hello. What else do you like? What do you mean? You like maths? You like art? You yes. like. Why don't you like maths? That's crazy. I know. I, I love maths. Why? I don't know. It's fun. Yeah. I like maths, but I only like. Um, maths. Now you can interview Amy from oh. Boston. Yeah. <laughs> Right, who is Amy? Amy! Here. Amy. Oh, she ain't, she doesn't want to see us. Amy, here! Amy, Amy here! She's confused. Amy, here! She's confused. Yeah, she's... She doesn't she's... know it's a camera. And yeah. she's lying. Let's see <laughs> that view of that pizza. Oh, you got in there? I'll just sort of show you. Can you see from the distance? The, we can't really get a torch on it, but the, it is bubbling away. See that? It's getting golden brown now, that cheese. We're just trying to push it as long as we can to cook that crust on the edges. You can... The other thing you could do, actually, if you wanted, is brush some oil on the edges at the top if you really want to push that. But you see, it's not focusing because of the flame, but we're getting a nice golden bubble on that now. Oh, so I think the dogs are a little bit confused. They're like, where are we? Home. Aren't they? Yeah. This is like your temporary home. They're like, seriously, dogs. We're at home. We're at home? Seriously, chill. Amy doesn't know what's going on. She's great though. She's really much the mother of Boston. She sort of like sits on him, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. <laughs> and they argue in bed. They do. Like rest their heads on the Oh, there we go. Look at that. <gasps> That's we've got a nice brown colour on the cheese. It's quite hard because of the light here. We've got the sun coming in and then... Is that better? Yeah, it's gone a bit steamy in here, but there you go. I'm using this right off my phone. A little bit of colour on the crust as well, that's what you want. I'm going to push that for another couple of minutes. Da, da, da. There we go. Like, maybe one more minute, and then our pizza is done. Mm -hmm. We get to try it. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, it is cooking good in there. I think taking it off the shelf and putting it on there just gives you a little bit more control. That cheese started to cook really quickly. But there we go. This is exciting. Um, yes. What do you think? Are you hungry? Yeah. Is, here's a question for you that I haven't prepared. Is the pizza cutter in the box or in the drawer? I think we, we still haven't fully unpacked, have we? I thought Mummy broke our special one. Did she? The pizza handle. Yeah, the one with the pizza handle. She broke it. It's okay, we'll, we'll be fine. In fact, I've probably got about four billion in the, in the box. We've still got so many boxes to unpack since we've uh, moved, but we'll, uh, oh, pizza. That is done. Oh, can you see the brownness on the edges there? Yes. All right, let's get this grill off. Are you hungry? Yes. All right, grill off. We're nice and safe. I'll turn this around so I can control it better. We're gonna have to, oh. Huh? <laughs> Look at him licking his lips. Oh, I'm sorry, boy. I'm sorry. Oh, there should be a, a pizza. Can you get me a chopping board? Chopping board. Yeah, that one over there. I was going to put it on the one there, but that's got a bit of a flower protest going on right now. I'm sure it'll be fine, but there we go. Why has it got it's just a little hack. That is a, a geek chopping board, which you can get online if anyone can wants one. It? Yes, you can if you want. Wait, it's in my house. Right, here we go. Push that a bit further, mate. There you go. Right. Here we go. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pizza. 
Huh? You made that from scratch, guys. What do I have to give you? A mark out of like A, B, C, or D or something? I think we all. What is it? How they do it now? Probably some sort of weird algorithm or something. Numbers? Stars. Stars, right, okay. Yeah. Let me, I'll tell you what, I'm just trying to kill time because I'm trying to put this red hot pan somewhere safe. So if the kids want to part ways, boom. Thank you, mate. <laughs> this is pan cam. Let's get this all out of the way. So we're now nice and safe. I can get a, a sharp knife out of the drawer. Let's go for, let's pick this one. Oh, well, we've still got a few gadgets lying around in there that you might recognize. And then let's stick you up on the tripod like so so remember cook along a barry if any of you guys have done this today send me a picture on instagram facebook twitter whatever i'll collage it and we'll stick it up tonight and tomorrow i'm not threatening my child <laughs> sorry uh, we are going to be doing some flapjacks and i'll post the ingredients i've already posted the ingredients actually but i'll post a more detailed full recipe uh tomorrow so just uh oh that was a bit of crunch there I wish I had like a decent microphone on this, then you could actually see it. Du, du, du. Not even see it. You <laughs> see the crunch, you can hear the crunch. Like, ah. Right, let's get that. You, you guys want to have a piece? Uh, yeah. Alright, I've got one. Chloe's going to want a piece of pepperoni on it. I'm just going to get Pepperoni? Pepperoni. There you go. And then that'll be my piece. Alright? Right, ready? This is the taste. This is where it all comes in. Moments, yeah, you got the pepperoni. You can I have a try? Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> it's hot. It's like there was a piece of um... Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. That is nice. I'm just eating some, sorry. These are, it's a really nice crust. It's soft as well. This, this, you've got like Christmas, look at that base. Oh, you can hear the crust. It works, and you've got a real slight creamy yogurty vibe to it, but it's discreet because the toppings kind of blast it, mm. right? Mm. The dogs are trying to join. The in. dogs are trying to get some. Well, I wish I could give them some. <laughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. It's yummy. I think for our first attempt at doing this, it is a bodge. I'm not expecting us to get many people watching at all, but we've had a steady couple of thousand there by the looks of it, which is awesome. Thank you so much for joining us in. As I say, hashtag cook along a Barry. It's helping me um, get through the whole homeschooling thing in terms of creatively for the kids. It's, I know what it's like for people like trying to like, just come up with new ideas. The kids are doing so well. I hope all you guys around the world are as well. And just, just sticking by what is a really crazy time, right? Awesome. Any recommendations you want to watch on TV? <laughs> you don't know? Me and Mrs. Barry have been watching something called uh, The Tiger King, which is pretty cool. Um, and other than that, just really been helping out with the extension, really. I got one. What? Me and Phoebe are watching Troom Troom. Troom Troom? What's that? Troom. Troom Troom. Okay, <laughs> so uh, if there's anyone that's made these pizzas, do take a photo of it and share on social media if you have not started eating already. Um, but if you know anyone that would be interested in sharing these videos, we're doing them every weekday. So anyone at home with kids needs someone to entertain them. That's hopefully uh, what we can do. Flapjacks tomorrow. Alistair Gammond, great job, guys. Well done and thank you. No problem. We did it. We did it. And we've got we pizza. We actually gave them a lunch for energy just before we started. And now we've got... really, really good. This makes us have even more energy for our schoolwork. Brilliant. <laughs> Anything to say, Phoebes? Um... You like the Smile. pizza? Smile. You like the pizza, right? Mm -hmm. All right, that is it, folks. Uh, share this far and wide if you can. The more people that know about it, hopefully the more people we can get through this very crazy time. Make the pizza, enjoy it, put your own crazy toppings on it, share it with us, and that's about it. I don't want to go. You don't want to go? Mate, we've got to make a board game. That's your next task. For the rest of the week. Flapjacks tomorrow. Watch this back in real time whenever you like if, if you haven't made the whole thing, but um, yeah. Take care, guys. Bye.